Chapter 181 Little Lamb turned around and was met with the towering figure of the divine tree. She immediately felt an overwhelming aura, grateful that such a powerful entity was on her side. This was the first time Little Lamb had met the master, causing her to sweat nervously and stutter, Master, Master. Hearing this, the divine tree turned to look at her, a new human child. The divine tree spoke softly, Is that you, little lamb? Then, the divine tree generously complimented her, You are very brave. The moment these words entered little lamb's ears, she blushed, covering her mouth and exclaiming, The divine tree just praised me. Remember, in everyone's eyes, the divine tree is a deity. The white tiger could only look at her with a mix of envy and stupidity, thinking to itself that it too had been praised a few times. Of course, the white tiger didn't want to mention the times it had been spanked by the divine tree. The massive roots of the tree shot up from the ground, lifting the divine tree high, heading towards the lava monster. The body of the lava monster was indeed gigantic. From this angle, the divine tree was but a finger of it. The divine tree began to speak in a cold but firm voice, Are you the master here? But this creature had no basic manners, or rather, it didn't want to converse with weak creatures, responding to the divine tree with a thousand-ton punch. The roots quickly blocked it. A loud bang echoed. The punch completely stopped midair. The lava monster was stunned for three seconds, unable to believe what it was seeing. Never had anyone been able to block its punch. It had to take a closer look at this tree creature, small and arrogant, still standing defiantly in front of it, not moving back even one centimeter. The divine tree coldly said, You are quite impulsive. The next second, the lava monster roared, not out of anger but as if it was some kind of skill. Immediately the metal bugs began to stir, they ignored the fight, all moving in one direction. Little lamb thought they were running away, but that wasn't the case. Seeing this scene made little lamb sweat. Because thousands, tens of thousands of bugs were gathering at the feet of their progenitor, then they melted and merged into each other. The next moment, the entire ground shook, emitting the grating sound of steel colliding. The noise spread from the feet of the metal progenitor, expanding around and quickly covering the entire steel realm. Over here, Ching Chan realized that the ground and the depths below were continuing to turn into steel, the density of the steel was thicker and purer than before. The process ended. The lava monster stared at the divine tree. It seemed to be quite cautious after knowing a bit of the divine tree's power. It immediately supplemented its strength and fortified its life path. Its body had also grown larger than before. The divine tree looked up, estimating that this guy had grown more than one and a half times larger smart. He was quite smart. Metal was his territory. Expanding the territory would expand the power. Absorbing more metal was like adding more blood for itself. The lava monster raised both hands, launching a strike as swift as a cut. The metal turned into sharp blades, shooting towards the divine tree. It wanted to cut the divine tree into a thousand pieces. Swish, swish. The sound of sharp metal blades whizzed by. The divine tree had been cut a few times. Its small body was enduring countless attacks, of course the divine tree was not so easy to cut. But it made little lamb on this side scream the name of the divine tree in worry. Then she opened her divine eye to search for treasures, immediately discovering the heart of the lava monster. It was a ball shining brilliantly gold. It was right in the middle of the chest. Little lamb quickly flew to whisper to the divine tree. The divine tree looked at her once, praising in its mind. Didn't expect this little girl to have the ability to see the core of others. It seems that the disciples of the Misty Mountain are indeed not raising anyone useless. Eating the Divine Tree's temple food is as hard as reaching the sky. But does the Divine Tree need this information? Hmm, probably not. Just need to turn the opponent into dust, that's it. Suddenly, a stream of scorching lava shot towards the Divine Tree from the gaping mouth of the metal progenitor. It fired so powerfully that all one could see was a massive burst of brilliant light swallowing the divine tree, which gradually disappeared within it, but it kept spewing, spewing endlessly. Only when the figure of the divine tree was no longer visible did it stop, in front of it, a large area of tens of kilometers of land was smoking heavily. Little lamb and the white tiger also screamed in worry, had their master just turned into ashes, 
No, the divine tree had managed to retreat underground in time. It poked its head out and complained. Are you in such a hurry to kill me? The divine tree had returned to its original form. Look at this. The lava monster was just a stinky ant in front of the divine tree at this moment. It swung its arm up, intending to fire metal to shred its opponent. But who would let it do that? Its legs and arms were locked in a blink of an eye. It looked at these tree roots with apprehension. They were huge and even harder than its steel. The divine tree roared angrily. It's my turn to attack now. Then the divine tree closed its huge mouth. Its body began to tremble, bulging and deflating, undergoing transformation. A huge arm appeared. The lizards over here looked terrified. Little lamb had to grit her teeth to prevent herself from running away. Because that body appeared again, the dust had not yet settled but people already felt a powerful breath that was terrifying. All creatures were either kneeling or running away. The divine tree in the form of a werewolf warrior, but gloomy like the lord of hell and terrifyingly large, larger than the lava monster by hundreds of times, the lava monster looked up in confusion. It had twenty-twentieths vision, so it clearly knew it was only as big as a red hair of the divine tree. The divine tree with a mouth full of smoke spoke in a deadly voice. Well, round two. End of chapter 181. Please note, due to the artist reducing the number of images per chapter, the duration of the clip will also be shortened. The schedule for the release of new chapters from the publisher is every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.